What's going on everybody? Welcome back to part two of one tip for every tank in Overwatch. This time I'll make a quick, a lot less cuts, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right in. My friends, we are approaching uncharted territory. For this next hero, I play less than our robotic rodent friend Hammond. And oddly enough, they came from the same lab on the moon. Winston is an ape. Literally. I find him useless and hate his very being. And I hate seeing him every time I open the game. I hate seeing him every time my teammate picks him. And, you know, I don't hate him because he's OP. I hate him because I've never been in a situation where I was like, you know what? We need a Winston. Now, sure, he can dive a lot of the healers and some of the DPS. But I've never been in a position where I was like, you know, Winston really is the best option. Now, unless you're going against maybe, I say, a Genji or something of that nature, there's always a better option in my opinion. I anyway, uh, the tip. Uh, <laughs> know your way out of a situation. If you're diving in, you best fucking know how to dive out. Because my toxic ass, who already hates them, will let you fucking have it. If you're fucking feeding the enemy team, give them full charge, and you just dive into a stupid situation that you ultimately cannot get yourself out of. And you need people to bail you out. This is my tip because nowadays I find it extremely easy to counter Winston with a lot of the stuns and, and a lot of the... Uh, the reapers nowadays but uh basically just it's smart to know when to run it's smart to know how to run and uh, winston's just kind of get melted so you know if you're gonna pick them at least know how to run and lastly more proof that the usa has horrible representation in the tank category zarya together we are strong <laughs> Mother Russia herself. Legend says she arm wrestled Jupiter and they're still going. Zarya has the smallest and the easiest kit to use. Now using well is another story. Zarya only has two moves on cooldown, so my tip is to not use them at the same time. Zarya can put a bubble around herself as well as a teammate and for a split second it absorbs all of the damage given to a character, converts it into energy for Zarya and then she then turns that into a percentage of damage that she then outputs on her enemies. Doing this will give her the power to rip Jupiter's arm off and fist fuck him with it until he begs for mercy and at that point I'm sure mercy in game will do just fine. And there you guys have it. One tip for every tank in Overwatch. Now, I think I said this in the last part. I'm not sure. But I kind of had to get out of my comfort zone with this one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Or that one uncle who could have went pro, but, you know, didn't. Also, while you're at it, comment your favorite tip down below. And drop your own, and maybe we'll get in the next video. Thank you all for watching. And as Zari would say, I will break you. Oh, wait. That's not right. Uh, see you on the next video. <laughs>